some other shit, but it's like, God, I mean, this this shit came out of nowhere. So there's like, yeah, I, mean, I they woke, got the bottles uh, and stuff on there. When I woke up and seen that shit, I didn't know who the fuck that was. Right, because so yeah, they were a talking about. Hey, right, cool. I have a question for you, bro. What's up? Um, so there's a lot of talk about trade trafficking, right? How far into that do you know? This is some of the shit that we've been doing research on. You know, Hold on, say it again. Some of the trafficking shit that Kendrick was uh, accusing. Oh, of. well, that yeah, shit stems shit. from Baca. Bitch ass. I don't know. I, I don't know Baca. Like so, I'm. I, he got a. He got a um, actual like open. He got a. His his information is public information. But he from Canada or well, I think he from Canada. But if he from if he from if he from America is hidden. Mm -hmm. But if it's from Canada, I don't know where his case is. So mm -hmm. Kendrick knows something that I don't know. That's another thing. Yeah, pretty sure Baca's case was in Canada because we were we were doing digging on Baca. We saw shit about uh, Dutch Valley. We were seeing shit uh, Potter Paper. Uh, yeah, we were I don't, seeing I, yeah, shit I don't about when like, Skepta and Drake were were doing shit in the UK. Omerta. Yeah, Omerta and all that shit. I guess Dan, Russia. Yeah, Crazy. them niggas they was doing some dirty shit because I'm like, okay, right. everybody know. Everybody know me. I'm cool. He's like, I'm the nigga that beat niggas up. So all my cases in America, I'm from America. I'm from Chicago. I've been on probation for like 10 years. Everybody can see my shit. My shit not hidden or because like all my shit was like going to jail for drugs or fighting. That's how I got pulled in. I'm basically the protection. Everybody try to ask me, oh, what's Cooley's connection and all this shit? I said, I'm from Chicago and his family is from Chicago. And basically, I got called. I never was even supposed to, supposed to be in the music shit. I just got pulled in because I'm a rapper. People thought I was clout chasing at first. But my role in the whole beef was like, don't let nobody mess with Wit or fucking like his, like Miss Duckworth. Though that That's my family. Those are my little, that's the, she's like my mom to me. Like Miss Duckworth is like my mom. So I'm like, I'm not TDE or PG Lang. So I don't know where people was trying to date. People with the fans are so dumb. That's why I said Kendrick was actually wrong about something. They are very dumb. They could not connect me to the beef. Oh. I said, y'all was scrambling so hard. Y'all couldn't even find the connection between me and Kendrick because I'm not TDE or PG Lang. I kept telling them that. I said, why do y'all keep saying that? I am Stash Brothers. If you have followed me for the last 10 years, I am a Chicago nigga and my, my homies are from Detroit. I said, why do you think Kendrick art is tied to us? If you are a real if you're a real Kendrick fan, look up where his parents are from and you will see the connection. Why do you think LA do you know how far LA is away from Chicago? That is a long way. So make the connection. If you smart and listen to the music, where is the connection between me and Kendrick? It's Chicago. That's where his fucking family is from. They live in the Taylor Home Projects. Are you retarded? They stupid. They goofy as fuck. They ain't no right to talk about. And then you got these fucking, these fucking squares like Jared, who just started listening to fucking Drake in 2015, that's talking shit. I said, bro, I will take that fucking chain off your chest and we'll rap about it. I swear to God. You, him and Bean, they both some bitches. And I said, man, shut up, bro. Y'all shut up. Just please shut up for one time. Because y'all don't know what's going on. It's way. That's why Kendrick said it's deeper. The it shit could get deep in the family, Crody. It's way deeper than L.A. Do you know what's going on with Zach Bia? Zach is the nigga who is controlling the social media shit. But that's who was. I don't know if y'all was following me or any of y'all saw what happened like a week ago. When I was predicting everything that was going on, they thought I was just making like smart guesses. I said, "No, nigga, I am. I see. I'm. I'm looking at him." And they was like, "How did Cooley beat the bots?" I said, "You know how I beat him." I said, "It's called people power. It's the same thing Kendrick got." Cooley, Kendrick, you mind if I ask you something? Yeah, go ahead. Um, 
B based off what you know, and I mean, if you can't answer anything, I understand. But based off what you know about the situation, what what do you see in the future for Drake or OVO in general? If Drake says anything else about Kendrick, he's going to get at least one song, and it's going to ruin his shit. Did they have a that's, 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 not like us? It's gonna be wait, not like us. Is it? I'm, I'm, I'm. This is the shit I've been telling people for like a week and a half. All the songs y'all heard are jabs. This, this is not the rabbit hole that he's talking about. Kendrick right. has, Kendrick has not. Kendrick is just punching this nigga and just like he's basically giving him a wedgie so far. He's not even like whooping his ass yet. He's basically saying, "Oh, you a nerd and you a bitch." He's not actually like slap boxing with him good. He's ba he ba he basically, this is like a, um, how can I explain it? It's like, I'm just punching you in the stomach right now. I'm not even like stomping on you yet. That's what, that's really, that's really what it is. Cause if he, that it, it's, this is an exclusive. Now I probably said this already, but it's five songs in the tuck already. He do not want to hear those five songs. They tapped yeah. out and everybody on Twitter is talking about, oh, uh, top and punch tapped out. I said those are street niggas. Top and punch are street niggas. Those are not industry niggas. These is street dudes. When they tell us to stop, we stop. I'm from the streets, and even I listen to Top and Punch. When Top and Punch say stop, me and Daylight always shut up. So do you do you think there's like something going on between labels or? Yes, it's the labels. It's it's politics. They they was met. This is the first time in music history uh, a major has lost to an independent. This is why they call time out. It wasn't a quit. It was a white flag by Drake Camp because everybody lost. I beat Bing because he didn't want to come and see me because it was another rumor. Remember, remember the rumor I told y'all was going around that um um. Bean, Bean was supposed to be the like, like, I guess this is what I know from my knowledge. Family Ties was supposed to be the so-called nuke that was supposed to ruin us, right? When that didn't work, Bean was supposed to come out and see me. I was involved the whole time, but because I was so vocal, Bean never wanted to see me. Because Bean was like, well, if Kendra's writing that shit, Cooley must be in back of him. Because I have more explosive shit because I'm unproved. Nobody knows who I am. As popular as I am, I have not proven. I have not sold half a million records like Kendra. Wait, so what do you mean by in back of him? Basically, I am, if, if it was ever to come down to... Okay, let me tell you something about Drake's camp that we know for a fact. His best writers are worse than our worst writers. So Beam, 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 let me tell you who Beam is. If on our side, if 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 Kendrick is Michael Jordan, I would probably be Kobe Bryant. Now, mind you, Kobe is not good as Michael Jordan, but it's almost the same level. Now, if you go on Drake's side, Drake at best is Scottie Pippen. His second in command, Tubbs or Bean, would be Derek Fisher. They can't beat us on no level. <laughs> it, it's not. A, it's not. It's not fair. And then if you look in the T if you look in the PG Lang and TDE camp, niggas like Bean will have to match up with like Baby Keem or something. He went his matchups, their matchups are not good. Your matchups to us are not good. I could beat, I could damn near write with Drake. Now not saying I'm good as Drake, but I could match up with Drake. Your best, your best case scenario is your Scottie Pippen going against our Michael Jordan. You can't, you can't beat us. So you're saying that like Beam, Beam was a, like didn't want to do Beam wanted to no problems once he seen what I was saying. I was calling Beam out the entire time. 
That's why Kendrick said it. Kendrick was baiting every that they keep talking about bait. The bait was on our side. I I baited them for a week and a half. Nobody said nothing to me. And then do you know who you have in the back of me? What's that? You have Ab Soul, you have J Rock, you have Q. These this we we are all top hitters. You have daylight. These are all we are all big punchers. This is not little niggas. I saw I saw some rumors that Q was the one that told J. Cole, hey, this is this is bigger than a little spar sash. This ain't yeah, it. Q was the one who made Cole. He didn't really he, it's not a I think people took that the wrong way though. Q did tell him that, but Q was basically telling him we got it, so you just need to step out because Kendrick is gonna say some shit that you might not want to get involved with. Oh, yeah. Cause, cause him and him and Dot and Cole actually talked. It wasn't like a he punked him type of thing. I think that's how the crowd took it. The the right. It was like I think people look at Cole as a punk. I don't like. I think, in my opinion, uh, on Cole, it was bitch made, but it was in good faith. Right. He's, right. He knew what was coming, so he basically said, "Man, he 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 is probably." I'm going to tell you right now, Cole is probably the most like cool, respectful dude I ever met. He 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 actually very nice. Like he's a nice dude. You could hear it in his distance, even to that. He didn't really want to go there. He just had to take up for himself as a man. But at the end of the day, he respect he respect that. Drake problem was his arrogance fucked him up. I say, I, cause in my mind, I'm like, do Drake really think he can fuck with that? Like, Drake really believes that shit. Drake in his mind really believes, oh yeah, I could fuck Cole, I could fuck Cola. You can hear it in his jabs, his jabs to Cole and his disses to Dot. He was still jabbing Cole too. He was mad at Cole because Cole apologized and they talked. They actually talked behind the scenes. He actually took it personal that Cole apologize and i was like that's a bitch move that's why drake lost he too airing it have you heard those five tracks that you're saying kendrick has i heard four the uh, last one fucked one give 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 us some some just just so we know if they if they drop we can say hey Cool, cool new. I heard okay, but remember when I told y'all the I don't know if y'all was following me, but when I said the next one gonna be up tempo, everybody was like, What are you talking about? That's when not like us came out. So the next thing I heard it, it was it was five more after that. What is two up tempos and it's three like mid tempo? No, two Two up tempos, two mid level tempos, and then it's it's another one that's very dark. I think that's the personal. Mm. That's the one I heard in the background, but I wasn't really in the room for that one. I think I was put out the room on purpose because they know me and they like they know me and they like everybody who follow me and they like know we are trolls. But when we tell the truth, we be telling the truth. So I think they kept that one away from us on purpose. Daylight is the one who got us in fucking trouble today when he posted a bronze video. And I said, Daylight, why the fuck did you do that? Because now Drake is gonna look at Brown like, oh. <laughs> yeah, cool. I was wondering, um, are all these tracks, you know, the ones you were just mentioning, were they written sometime before, or did Kendrick whip them all up like in the last couple of days? I, I I got some I got an exclusive for y'all. Do y'all know all the shit y'all heard so far was one session? <laughs> nah, really. <laughs> no, what the gonna, fuck? Yo, 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 that's crazy. Like the nineteenth song that he was like, wow. yeah. and it was like, I told <laughs> niggas he do not like this nigga. If you go back to my tweets, from like a week and a half or two weeks ago, every time I said something, it happened. I said, this nigga hates him. The original version of Euphoria was 19 minutes. Oh, so it's really... Uh, that wait, shit was... What, what about the, um, what about the, sh uh, the slave line, though, in third verse of Not Like Us? Um, 
Did he like add that on later? Oh, you talking about the slate? The, the slate line? Yeah, yeah. When he was addressing that, or well, did he add that later from the first session? It was. It was. It was. Some of it was edited to basically say, because the thing about Drake is, Drake is a good rapper, but Drake is disassociated from like. How can I say this? Uh, niggas, basically. He does not understand. He does not understand that a lot of us rap started in the hood, right? So Drake does not understand saying certain shit will turn the audience. Some of the shit he's saying sounds good, but it will turn the audience against you because of who you are. You cannot be a biracial Canadian saying certain shit. So you're saying the track was recorded, but then Dot heard that slave line and was like, hold up, hold up, let me, let me yeah. I got it. Hey, what the fuck? Like, like even the George Zimmerman line was fucking wild to me because everybody skipped over that because my favorite, I'm going to tell you right now, we do not hate Drake. We just hate that he acts tough. We know that he's a good rapper because my favorite song from him is Family Ties. I heard that and I looked at Daylight and I said, whoa, that's that's fire. <laughs> I was like, that's fire. I said, but you got to fuck him up, Dot. I said, you got to fuck him up. I said, that's hard because he was going in, but he is not. It. Drake being from Canada makes him out of tune with what I'm going to tell you the line that fucked him up that nobody paid attention to. It's certain people in America that I don't know if y'all, anybody, everybody here from America or wherever y'all from, if you if you know like hip hop culture, it's certain people you can't say certain shit about. Like for example, if you say something about Chief Keith, you're gonna turn people on you. If you say something about Kendrick, people are gonna turn on you. If you say something about Jay Z, people are gonna turn. He doesn't understand the people you're talking about. It's going. He said some shit about Pharrell that turned us on him. He told. He told Kendra to come get his legacy out of his estate. He's talking about the, the, the Gucci chain that he wore in a Me, Mr. Me Too video. You cannot say that. Pharrell does not beef with anybody. Pharrell is, Pharrell is probably more squarer than Drake. Nobody, Pharrell does not even have any beef. Pharrell is like the nicest dude in the world. He made happy. How can you beef with a dude that made happy? Like, you can't beef with these type of dudes. So when you threatening dudes like that, it makes dudes like Pusha T go, what the fuck? It makes people like Kanye go, what the fuck? These are her. He doesn't realize the, the people he's talking to because he's not from here, which is weird because he's cool with Wayne. Like, Wayne is like the best American story of all time. Probably 50 Cent probably got the best American story of all time for a black man. But Wayne is next. Well, does he feel like he's inheriting uh, the beef with uh, Young Money and dissing Pharrell through that? Yeah. But the thing about Pharrell is yeah, Pharrell and Pusha T are friends. Everybody knows that. They grew up together. The thing about Pharrell is Pharrell is the nicest dude in the world. It's like beating up the nice kid. You cannot beat up on the nice kid and expect people to be like, oh, we're on your side. No. We don't like that. You're and then you're threatening people saying come get his legacy out of my house and you're holding up for Rail's chain that he bought. First of all, that's disingenuous. He's acting like he snatched the chain. You did not snatch the chain, you bought the chain. So bought he's per it. now you perpetrating something that didn't happen. If like we Americans, we come from violence. I hate to say that, but like when 50 was taking people chains and he would say shit like come get this chain it made more sense because that's gangster shit this is not gangster shit you bought somebody chain and you in this and you dissing one of the nicest dudes in hip-hop history for real is a nice dude like for real is probably the most non-confrontational good dude you could ever meet like why would you say that during a rap beef and then hold up the chain in the video that's stupid yeah, it's like the G Unit chain he, that he that he bought. Fifty didn't even give it to him. Yeah, like, that was too. He's collecting American like legendary chains and actually, he got like 
Pac's ring too, didn't he? Yeah, he got Pac ring. ring. Yeah, it's like it's like he got a museum of like of like American rap artifacts, just kind of chilling all in his house. Yeah, that, that, that he's hey, buying. That's it's like that's that scene from Black Panther. Yeah, that's the bullshit. You have the ring. I don't even know who sold him that. Whoever sold that to him is is a money hungry bitch ass nigga because he should not like the Pharrell shit was cool, but now you mocking Pac. Dude, uh, Pac yeah, he, he is he Pac. white people. He got it from the Sotheby's, the uh, the auction house. It's just because uh, of course he did. I fucked him up because you like Pac is not even an American legend. That nigga a global legend. You can't play with Pac, bro. Like that was some bullshit. Why would you ever do that? Then he did the AI shit on a diss track to a West Coast nigga. You cannot, bro. You can't do that. That's why the Bay niggas canceled his show. I was like, bro, that's why Kendrick said you can't never, you, you might not. I think that's why he made not like us because now you have put yourself in a position where niggas want that ring. Now, if you get robbed, they're going to say, they're going to, they're going to say the same shit they say about Americans all the time. They're going to say you violent. And all this type of shit. But you got this biracial Jewish Canadian nigga running around with Pac Ring like he stole it or something. I said, nigga, you bought that in the auction. Why are you acting like you took it off somebody? You can't do that. You're not 50 cent. He think he's 50 for some reason. I don't know why he think he's 50. You didn't take none of these chains. You bought them shits with your own money. So his 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 approach to everything is wrong. And that's why he lost to Kendrick. Because it's like, bro. You are wearing Pox ring, Pharrell's chain, and then you walking around this bitch like you the mob boss. He always talking about this mob shit. But them niggas in Houston, he talking about the Houston niggas. Them niggas ain't going to be able to save you at the end of the day. Because when you, you have to go back to Canada. They the ones going to get robbed. And if they take your shit while you down there, you can't call the police because you was talking shit. If you a gangster, then you can't call the police. So either you lose on that end or you lose and go back to Canada. You cannot be talking shit. Do you know anything about Hell's Angels? Great affiliation with Hell's Angels. You know anything? Yeah, apparently he's got that Hell's Angel for a neighbor or some shit. Yeah, I don't know nothing about that. The yeah, the Hell Hell's Angels being a pictures with Hell's Angels like sweatshirts and shit. Yeah, apparently Hell's Angels came out. Now the Hell, Hell's Angels came out and they was like, we don't know that nigga. And they was like, what the fuck? Right. Like, oh, that, you I, didn't, guys, I didn't even know he was locked in with Hell's Angel. That's a good tidbit. I'm going to have to put out that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put that out to the homies. I'm going yeah, to tell He's fronting he's Hell's Angels. He's got some guy in the in his neighborhood that's supposedly Hell's Angels, but it's like you live in Ontario. Yeah, and dude. You, you uh, in Drake's neighborhood. Family Matters. Drake, I'm going to tell you. Had the mass clip at the end. I'm going to tell you some weird shit about Drake. Drake starts shit and then leave. I'm going to tell you some shit he started between like GD's. He was in Memphis. He started some shit between um, it was a dude named Shy Glizzy. I know y'all know who that is. Shy Glizzy and Black Youngster. It was in Memphis. Shy Glizzy got his chain snatched in Memphis and Drake was like perpetrating like he was from Memphis. His daddy from there but he not from there. So he got his chain snatched and Drake tried to act like he did it. And I was like, you did not do that, bro. I know the niggas who got his it was Black Youngster from um Y'all know Black Y'all know Black Youngster stupid ass. He the one be running around calling people whores and all that Whoops. shit. Oh yeah, 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 that nigga. He the one that came back and Drake tried to act like he did. I said, You did not do that, bro. I was there. You did not do that. I said, I don't know why this I said, I don't know why this nigga be trying to act like he the one be play, putting shit in play. And that's why everybody don't like him. I said, he be acting so tough. And it's not you, bro. Like, I've been there. I've been in the clubs and shit. When Drake, Drake man, Drake, they've been running the club so many times. The only reason why people don't look at everybody in America know Drake is a punk. Like, we know he's soft. But he gets on tracks and act like he the mob boss. I said, no, the niggas with you are tough. You're not tough. You run out the club every time. I have seen this nigga with my own eyes run out the club. That's why I don't like Bean. When I catch Bean, I'm going to take that owl shit off his neck. I'm going to take hey, that cool. shit. My fault, my fault. Um, hey, I just had a question. Um, 
we've, we've been doing a lot of looking into some of this weird, like, freaky shit, so to speak, that Drake's been up to, man. We've, we've heard about, like, dog-related shit, like, dog bowls and a lot of weird, like, dog oh, imagery. Yeah. I just want to know if there's any substance to that, you know what I'm saying? I, look, listen, that's the only thing, the shit that happened tonight with the, like, ebony girl and that dog shit is the only two things I don't really know nothing about. I sort of got, I don't know where that shit came from. Like, I think, yeah. I think some of the Kendrick fans sometimes will lie, but they don't lie as much as the Drake fans. I will say that. Like, they both sides lie, but I don't know about that dog bullshit. I, I literally yeah. haven't heard that shit. That's just like a rumor. I ain't I own I ain't never seen or heard that shit till tonight. Not worried. We sort of been, been on the, the last the past three, three days. days. We have lots of evidence. Yeah, also I was gonna say that too, Cooley. Hey man, I could link you um I swear channel. I would love to see it. Cause like yeah, top yeah. Top <laughs> top to stop and shit, but I was like, if y'all got I wanna see it. <laughs> bro, that ass, that ass, oh, we yeah, got bro, like, linked him. up with like straight up, like I'm talking mass scale human trafficking, like yeah, like we talking like some, real, like, like like Rico really level, around, like bro. like I'm talking getting underage women across borders and shit. He's got shit going on in like we might think like Ghana and Nigeria and shit. He's got all these shadow shell corporations under his name. That, yeah. like is that video girls yeah there's there is there is, there is like a lot of shit there's gotta be some weird shit going on at industry parties it's just yeah you know, I, once I, you get I, to that level of power you feel like you can do whatever the fuck you want yeah i know because i saw i saw um i remember the um for the dennis graham video hit the timeline today and i was like um somebody sent it to me it was early in the morning too. it was like nine in the morning Everybody was like, where did this come from? I actually okayed that video. I said, send it out. Because it was from 2019. But it was on somebody's TikTok. I didn't even know fucking TikTok existed in 2019. But when I got the video, I said, yeah, put it out. Everybody was like, oh shit. His daddy is nasty. I said, yeah, I've been told y'all that shit. I just didn't have proof. But when I finally sent it out today, that's all I did today. That's the only thing I did today. Yeah, Damn. I mean his dad. His dad follows some, a lot of underage girls. It's a lot of, I mean, it, yeah, his dad on some freaky shit. Yo, like real talk. Hey, um, yo, I was also just wondering this too. Has this been a planned kind of calculated deal? Like, has Kendrick been? Are there? Is, I'm sorry if this is a reach, but like, is this current situation tied to any of his past work? Were there any like allusions to this in the past? Like, was it planned in a um, sense? It's, this is this. I'm gonna tell y'all this. This is fairly new. Um, I think Pusha T was the catalyst. Mm. Pusha T is close to this is where people miss my connection because I tweeted it earlier. I said people miss my connection all the time, they don't know who I am. I am a writer and I don't like somebody over there named Bean. But Pusha T, this shit stems back to before I was a fucking child when this shit started, basically. The shit stems from Pusha T and Wayne. Pusha T was the first nigga to say, I don't like those niggas and they are weird. So, me being a child, I think I was what, 19 or 20 when I first met Pusha them. I'm still super young. This is like 2010. This is when the good music shit started. And I'm like, well, I don't know shit. I don't know. I don't know them like that. Only thing I knew, I didn't like because of something that happened at a concert. But when I but I, I wasn't invested in the beef until Pusha T started saying shit. Pusha T does not like Drake because he is like he's Drake is a liar. That nigga lies so much. He is the biggest liar I've ever seen in my life. He lies about everything, dog. That's why nobody likes him, dog. I, I be trying to tell people, I said, man, listen, this is not a we're tired of you being the on top thing. It's a dude. You lie on everything, and Pusha T was the first person to beat him. And so, that's what like we've been saying. Like this dude's lying to like We've been 
I'm convinced at this point, Drake is downright evil. Like, on some, like, straight... If you look up in the general channel, the thing that we were talking about with him owning all these companies... I don't know if you've seen this picture yet. It's been going around on TikTok and stuff. But Drake is registered as, like, an owner or an operator of all these companies that ain't nobody ever heard of. And some of them, man, they are just shady as fuck. Like, you only gotta go a couple of clicks and you're seeing him connected to all types of shit. You right. He connected to Lucian. Don't that just sound evil? The nigga name is Lucian. He's the run that... He's trying to give Drake a company to overrun all the rappers. Yeah, I heard they want to get a life skin nigga. They want to get a life skin Canadian nigga to roll over all the rappers. That's crazy. Yes, he wants to give a Canadian nigga to roll over all these uh, black American rappers. Are, are, are these niggas... Are y'all fucking stupid? Do you not think that's why everybody sent Kendrick out there? Kendrick was the last stop. Everybody was like, hold the fuck. And I'm going to give y'all another tidbit. This is the funniest shit about this. Kendrick ain't the one that destroyed him. You know where You know where Drake fucked up at? He lost his cult following because of Future. Future is an American fucking hero. Once he said that shit against Future, he fucked up. You have, you have, you have destroyed your relationship with Future, Kanye, and Kendrick. Do you know what you just did? You have fucked up. You, you nobody goes against Future. Future's not the best lyricist. He's not the best like a rapper of all time. Future represents black american like dudes like he is he like he's the last hood dude that's mainstream we don't have no dudes from the hood that's mainstream no more kendrick is the only one but kendrick is kind of like a square that's surrounded by street dudes future is the only one that is from the streets who is still mainstream that's where drake fucked up it wasn't really kendrick kendrick was just like i'm going to smoke this nigga but Future was just like, oh yeah, I'm going to smoke him. He smoked, Kendrick smoked Drake for Future. Because Future, Is there any connection with Diddy? Do you know? Uh, kinda. Drake and Future. Drake, I, I think Future don't like Diddy. I think, that's another thing. Future was the first person to stand up to Diddy too. People don't remember this. But it was like I think 2017 or some shit. Future was the first person to say fuck Diddy too, and it was years ago. Kanye was the second one. So this this all this shit is like a domino effect. This is yeah. why if you listen to all the all the disses, Drake doesn't really go at Future. Do you know why? Can anybody say why in here? Why? Future is not signed to UMG or anybody. Future is signed to Sony. So Future can say uh, you. <laughs> <laughs> Future <laughs> and Kanye can say whatever they want. And Kendrick is, is is he is the first independent to be a major at their own game. That those are that's the real big three. Future, Kanye, and Kendrick. That's how Drake is losing right now. You have lost the streets in future. You have lost the mainstream in Kendrick. And you have lost like the overall fan base of Kanye. I'm from Chicago. We are not riding against Kanye. I'm from the streets. So I'm not riding against future. I make I'm, I write bars. So I'm not riding against Kendrick. You have lost me on all three levels. So what do you think he have did to America against this Canadian nigga? You have lost. That's why he's getting embodied right now. He is losing bad. Why do you think the number one artist in our fucking generation or of all time is losing this bad to a dude who don't even come outside that much? Kendrick does not come outside like this. And he came outside and whooped his ass. He lost like that because he did three things wrong. He lost bad because of that. He got fucked up and he cannot handle it. But like, 
I, I got it. I'm going to just put it as a statement. Drake's bitch ass totally lied about, like, planning evidence, right? Like, that's yeah. that's how that goes. Like, that's we just on the it. facts of the matter. Because I don't believe Drake. I feel like Kendrick has no reason to lie. In his whole career, I've been a fan of his. No He's reason. He's a truthful man. And Drake yeah. has lied many times. So, like, face value, like, I don't need to even dig deeper than that. Like, man's a liar. Kendrick's a truther. But, yeah. That's really all I ask about. I think that was the I think that was the catalyst for all of this whole beef because everybody always said, "Well, how do we not know Drake's lying or Kendrick's lying?" I said, well, "How do you well, not see the signs?" <laughs> said, well, if you look at the character traits, who has a longer history? Of, I said, "What do we know about Kendrick that he has lied about?" I don't know nothing about Kendrick that he's lied about. I can tell you plenty of things that Drake lied about. That's the difference. Your character, when if your character is ever in question, that's when you lose. Like, for example, people always ask me, why do people believe Cooley all the time when he says something? I say because I never lied to them. That's the difference. I said there are people more popular than me. There are people are who are more industry than me. Why do you think every time I say something, it goes viral, or people will be like, "Oh, I believe this." You know why? It is because I have no history of lying. Drake got a history of fucking lying. If you got the, my whole thing has been authenticity. That's why people like me. So speaking I'm of Drake like, Lyon, you know anything about the daughter? Um, I can DM you about that. DM yeah, me. I do. DM, I got you right now. DM me about that on Twitter, and I'll I, I can allude to some, but I can't say it. But I'm gonna tell you one thing: Kendrick Homies is on the timeline with us, and I'm gonna retweet some shit, and y'all can see for yourself. Now we're not gonna outright say it because. You know, parentheses. I'm gonna say this low key. UMG. Um. So I guess we should be expecting like a bombshell anytime soon, or no? I guess that's just a general okay. question. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this about that. If Drake say any fucking thing, mm -hmm. he gonna die. Drake better not make a fucking sub subliminal on his next album because this is another bomb. I give y'all one bombshell. Kendrick recording the album right now. Oh, oh yeah. Nice. Wait. It's not really a can bomb. I, the Gemini? Can I just yeah. ask a follow up question right quick? Yeah. When you say when you say he's gonna when you say he's gonna, when you say he's gonna die, do you mean like you know what I'm saying by like UMG or standards or like okay, UMG's okay, done. Do you hear what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, just, um, if Drake alludes to anything, if he throws like one of those little bitch ass subliminals that he likes to throw, like I slept with your somewhere your wife or some shit, like that's that's a lie. But if he do any of that shit, because um, Drake think he like to say things about women in people's lives. Like, let's say I was famous right now. He would probably say, because my girl name is Whitney. That's why I was, that's why it's so funny to me. My my girl name is Whitney, too. If he says something like, Coolie, I slept with Whitney and you was on the da 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 I would be like, what the fuck is he talking about? He likes to do that shit. He loves to involve girls. That's Drake's problem. Bitch move, yeah. So you're saying that. He liked to play those like Playboy games, but the where he fucked up this time is he has been with his Kendrick has been with Whitney since high school. That's his high school sweetheart. He's only been with one woman, like damn near not one woman like his whole life, but I'm saying that's the only woman he's been tied to publicly. Because Kendrick rapped about how he used to fuck girls on the side on Mr. Morale, right? But Kendra doesn't have any like TMZ scoops about 
mistresses and shit like Drake does. So why the fuck would you rap about that? You have no business rapping about the family with your shit you got going on. Nope. He has no business rapping about shit like that. You've been tied to 20,000 women and country been with the same woman since he was fucking 17, 18. How dare you? That's why I tweeted the other day. How dare you? You of all people, that's your angle? Are you retarded, nigga? That's why he lost. He's saying shit that applies to him. I said, if you're going to say this about him, what does it say about you? You don't even apply your own logic. Nigga, like he's... Re Drake misjudged Kendrick so bad. He misjudged projecting. Yeah, it, it feels like he, he tried to like little bro him for like for, for, for two whole songs. And it's just like wow, while Kendrick's eating this man alive, it's ridiculous. That's the that's that's the ironic part about it. He he said he projected so hard. Kendrick was like, nigga, hold up. Don't you do this? <laughs> what the fuck? That's what fucked him up. I was like, nigga, you are throwing stones in a glass house. You are talking about shit you did. Why would you do that? I, I mean, he shouts out Chris Brown in the same song and calls Kendrick a wife beater. Like, right. like come on, dog. His self aware. Like, like, for Drake to be as good as he is, he got very low self awareness. That I said, Kendrick is way smarter than this nigga. That's how when I heard the diss, I said, oh, this nigga is retarded. Are you stupid? Yeah, he's dumb. What was Kendrick's love reaction? Did you were you there? I mean, like I'm just curious. Kendrick, bro, like, like Kendrick smiled. <laughs> That's how I'm picturing in my head, bro. I was he like, did. come on, dude. Wow, and he was like, I said, I already know because everybody over in TDE and PG Lang is like smart. We was looking at, it. we was, I was listening. I was like, Daylight was like, what you gonna do? And I looked at him and I was like, is he serious? I was like, we both was like. What? Well, I said, is this self awareness that low? I said, is he drunk or high right now? I said, this I nigga is he's drunk. He is stupid. Also, can I say, I really think that like he thinks that no, that no one can out rap him. Like he like he has no awareness about the fact that he's yes. not the best. That is that he is, really thinks that. I'm so glad you said that. Drake is the most arrogant ups piece. Drake is so famous, he's not self-aware. Drake does not realize he's lame. Drake is he's the, the first, like, like, It's so obvious, too. He's the, he's the first uppity nigga I've ever seen in my life. Like, actually. Like, that's yeah, actually up, an uppity nigga. It's, Drake is the first square nigga that... I, I have never met a nigga that's so rich, that's so lame at the same time. I have seen Drake... Try to talk to bitches that don't like him. That's where his lover boy shit come from. Drake is because I but before I was aligned with Kendrick, I used to see Drake all the time. Bitches really don't like him. He has to flash. Do you, you know how you know how like niggas on Instagram like to flash money and shit and like and they be regular niggas. Drake does that and he's one of the richest niggas on earth. And I said, you shouldn't even have to do that. Because I get I used to get bitches when I was broke. I ain't have no money and used to pull the baddest bitches in the world. This nigga does not know how to talk to women. He has to like persuade them with like weird shit. And I used to be around him like this nigga weird. That's why future Nam don't like him. Because I, you could tell Drake is from the burbs. Like, it's nothing wrong with being from the suburbs. Because if you ask me, I would love to trade my hood life in to be from a fucking nice family. <laughs> but at the same time, that shit made me learn how to talk to women. Because it, I didn't have much growing up. Now I got all the shit that I want in the world. But I got that combined with, like, my street shit. So I know how to talk to women. Drake does not know how to get women. All his shit is just money. And that's why he in the position he is in now. He does not know how to talk to women. That's why that pedophile shit came up. Yeah, can we get into that right quick? I mean, yeah, yeah that's I mean, what we've been really digging into in here. He should so, not have said Whitney. I that's mean, what we've been good doing most yeah. of yeah. I mean, like, his last album, it was, it was he was uh, sitting there bitching about some 20-year-old complaining that she wasn't being thrown out in first class. And it's like, well, why are you flying out a 20-year-old? You You're should like not 37, my nigga. <laughs> Thank you. 
Why the fuck yeah, are you, you six? Why are you thirty six <laughs> talking about this shit, man? A tw- and, and matter of fact, on top of that, why the fuck does a twenty year old have your interest? You know how I'm wake going? it up. Wake it up. It's been, it's been, you go all the way back because it's Brooklyn it's, Nicole, it's Millie Bobby, it's uh Haley, it's I mean, it's all of this. He's oh, no, he's got a type, and it's listen, I mean, you just want to feel superior. Why, being the, poor. why the fuck does a 20 year old have you pressed like that? Because I, I can't even entertain a woman who can't take a drink with me. I want to talk about these motherfucking girls that this nigga be talking about because. Mm. I want to get into this pedophile shit. Kendrick mm-hmm. ain't for no reason, dog. Like when Shorty, who was that that asked me that? Anyway, the it, it, it should not be a, a twenty year old woman like destroying you like that. Because to me, a woman that's under twenty seven can't do nothing for me. I'm gonna be real. This nigga crashing out behind 20 year olds. And that's all I want to say about that. You can DM me that shit you talking about, but I, I'm, I'm going to get to the bottom of this shit. That nigga, that nigga a weirdo, bro. But, and also, he can't keep the women that he gets in his own age range because he's a weirdo. He drives them away. Exactly. I mean, Rihanna. He yeah, had, I, I was just you, talking about like about that. Why Rihanna, said, Rihanna, definitely, Rihanna saw some weird that? ass shit. Whoever you know. said that, who said that? Thank you, but for, because he ran Rihanna away with that weirdo shit. Thank you. I'm so, bro. I'm so glad you said that shit because that nigga can't keep a bitch to save his life. Why are you this rich and can't keep a bitch? What What about you that made Rihanna go uh, nigga? What did What did you do? Literally, yeah. Like how you go? You go uh, his, his, his diss for ASAP Rocky is that he's he's with Rihanna. <laughs> Like how you go diss? How you go diss ASAP Rocky for being with the bitch that you've been trying to get for the last ten years? And been trying, and the moment she got that, with you, served you right after. She trying to act like she a throwaway bitch. I said that's what? one of the baddest bitches in the world. I said, like, you crazy nigga. That that's his arrogance again. I said this nigga retarded, bro. I mean, he can't say that. And then, and then on top of that, look at his baby mama. I said, you gonna talk shit about Rihanna, but you got a baby mama that look like the fucking Crypt Keeper? Are you crazy? <laughs> this nigga's stupid. I said, this nigga dumb. I said, get the fuck out of here. That's why I don't believe none of that shit he be talking about. The fuck he talking about? I said, this nigga weird. That's why Dot, that's why Dot, that's why Dot dropped down on his ass. Because he tried to talk about Serena. He tried to talk about the baddest bitches he done had. He... He tried to smoke Serena and fucking Rihanna. The Serena it's- shit is crazy to this day because Alexis ain't really ain't do shit to that man. He just is a nerd, is on Reddit, does his little shit. What the fuck did he do? Like what? Mm-hmm. Marry Serena? Oh and no. Nick- um, yeah, how you go diss a nigga? How you go diss another nigga from the suburbs? Like that's that's white on white crime. Like what is it? That nigga weird. He married her? Sorry. What? Drake is a Drake is a prime example of money can't unlame you because you one of the richest thinkers in the world and you you done fumbled some of the baddest bitches in the world. <laughs> money can't buy swag. I was like, nigga, I, I remember being broke in the hood before I moved out to the suburbs, nigga. I had some of the baddest bitches I you didn't ever seen, and they ain't never said them the shit that this bitch be saying about him. All the uh, Serena and Rih- Rihanna was like, "Oh, I just don't like him like that." I said, "Nigga, you had to be lame to be rich like that and fumble like that." I said, "You, you definitely was a lame." Hey, I DM'd you on Twitter about that daughter shit, like you said okay. too. I got you. But so any other thing oh, about that uh, shooting at Drake's crib the other day? Oh shit. Cough, cough, cash, cough, cough. What okay, the fuck? Okay, I'll let you answer that one. Go ahead. Wait, what? Yeah. So that's that's cat. So that's that's uh, that's get back for cash, then, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. That's that that's that's all I'm gonna say about that. That's EXO shit. Not right. Okay. That, 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 yeah, that, that ain't gonna do it, Kendrick. That's EXO shit. That's weekend now. <laughs> That's yeah, ninety J is gonna be on. We that. figured that like, we were just like, what the fuck? Yeah, we figured that it was, yeah, I mean, it was just like, happening. Just in, in, like I can never try to push it with Kendrick first. Yeah, man, listen. When I get a hold of academics, 
the whole of academics. Oh my god, I cannot wait to p- upload a video of this nigga. Fuck that man's fat ass, honestly. Eat the I shit out of that nigga. <laughs> only nigga on the internet. I'm gonna grab him up by his collar and I'm gonna knock the shit oh, out of him. Like, I can't. No, whoever tweeted that, whoever just not tweeted, but whoever just wrote that, no, Future didn't take credit for that shit. I was with Future when it happened. We was in Atlanta. I'm in Atlanta right now. Future didn't take credit for that. No, that was that was that's some Toronto shit. That's that's the that's the thing about Drake. Drake got on. That's why Kendrick said it's not just me. Niggas in Toronto like don't like him either. Niggas here in Atlanta hate him. <laughs> Exactly. I, mean, I go outside. Hell, it's me. It's me. I'm playing not like us on full blast with the windows down. But I mean, really, anywhere you go, you're you're gonna hear it on the road somewhere. But I'm the hearing thing, it in the UK. It's, the wow. Thing, the thing I'm people know, fuck Drake. Niggas think I we heard it three oh. times. They dropped in Cali. <laughs> the only thing about the only thing about Drake right now is his american shows are getting canceled because he can't go to oakland for the shit he said about Pac. he can't go to chicago for the shit he was doing with um me and the me and the beam shit was really what fucked him up because niggas already know when i see if if drake bring beam to chicago I'm fucking him up and then mm-hmm. i got a house in atlanta too me future and metro all here so he he really not gonna play with us and then um, Ross down here too. Ross got his house on the east side, so yeah, it's four down here. So I'm like, Drake basically got blocked off between me, Future, Kendrick. Kendrick started it, but I was like, I'm with it though. Like, it, it, it that that shit he said about Atlanta. I was like, yeah, you dead down here. Because <laughs> Ross not gonna let him come here. I'm not gonna let him come here. Only person he got a 21. In- and even now, yeah. niggas looking at at twenty one, kind of like not That's sideways, fine. but just like nigga, why aren't you saying anything? Where are you at? Because he can't. You tell you why? I'm glad you brought that up too. He can't. And now with that Ruby Rose shit coming out with his name attached to it, yeah, he need to. He just, yeah, he's staying quiet. He's being. He's in the corner. That's why I nigga just sat there and yeah, ate his motherfucking food. Exactly. I say, yeah, nigga, you better sit your ass right there, cause he, we, we, all of us been around here. Yeah. Oh shit. Okay. Wait. Can I ask about another uh, topic? Okay. Go ahead. The mole. The mole. We okay. there's like two people that we are pretty like that we've been kind of going. You know, these two are most likely the sources. Okay. Do you know who, anything about that? Who are the two most likely moles? I want to hear. Okay, Boyda and Johnny Rocks. Johnny That's Rocks. The two names that we got. I well, heard, of I heard Noah too. Wait, Wait other words, other words, Boy Wonder. Yeah, I was like, you mean Boy Wonder? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. I always just say Boy Wonder. I don't know why no, I do that. Good. Oh, Boy you Wonder. Guys are fucking stupid, anyways. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah not, Boy Wonder and Johnny Rocks. That's the two that not, I've seen. It's not Boy. It's okay. not Boy. I, I know he definitely a Drake nigga. Like he, 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 he we don't fuck with him at all. Okay. Metro don't like him, so me, me sure. and Future, because like boy, like the, he used to come to Atlanta on time, but he ain't, he ain't been back here in a minute. But um, mm-hmm. yo, the, I, I think I may have someone I, uh, if it hadn't been brought up, because uh, in six sixteen on Kendra's track at the beginning, it sounds like a respirator is going on or something, and a respiratory therapist was like, yeah, that sounds like a respirator, and in that picture from the from the uh, from the mole. It had, you know, that uh, the handicapped dude who uses a respirator. Uh, so I just want to throw that out there. Is it 40? Oh, uh, I forgot his Christopher name. Alvarez. I, I heard it was 40 as well. No, but it's not, it's not, not, it's not the dude on the, I'm not, it's not the dude in the picture. I'm trying to think who y'all talking about, though. Also, uh, I don't think it's 40 to be so, well. Christopher I, Alvarez. Uh, Shit, if I was dying of like, fucking cancer or some shit and my my main dude was fucking kids and stuff, if I'm 40, yeah, fuck I it. Agree. Before I die, I'm taking Drake out. That's who yeah. Drake that's who Drake is gonna first be lying to saying nigga is it you because because of the of the push shit because he got caught chatting last time. Yeah. So yeah, it could be him, but I'm saying that's gonna be the first place Drake thinks oh what? shit, 40 might have been 
That nigga, that man, listen. The niggas, I'm going to tell you like this. Niggas be capping, bro. The, the only nigga who is part of Drake camp that's down here that's solid is 21. But even he can't get rid of the fucking allegation. That's why you see he's, he ain't saying nothing. 21 ain't said nothing since this shit popped off. Right? Which is shocking because I really thought he would he would go with 21 on this. Like, like I never imagined a world where he would see 21 next to Drake before Metro. Yeah, but you know, but you, Metro got way more power than fucking 21. Like, 21 a rapper. Like, t 21 is basically like... Yeah, but they always together. I just, I never thought that that would not be, I don't know. I don't know. It's weird to me. You see, Metro got away from that nigga though because he chose. Yeah. He chose basically chose. He chose Drake's side. With uh, Atlanta niggas going out bad right now. <laughs> it's gonna be a war because the the thing that fucked them up is it's a lot of Chicago niggas down here. Yeah. So now you gave me the power. Now niggas be asking, well, why is Cooley so involved? I said, nigga, you know why. I'm I'm yeah. down. I said, why do you think Chief Keep just diss Drake? I said, because... Yep. Yep. Yeah, Atlanta's not fucking with this man at all. <laughs> so many Chicago niggas out here. I said, nigga, I said, nigga, we got Atlanta, this Chicago. Yo, can, you, can, you, uh, can you speak on the 150K uh, Drake put out for the info? Oh, hell yeah. That ain't discreet. I can talk about this shit all day. <laughs> let's, let's, oh, I like these conversations. This is street shit. Okay, let me tell you about it. <laughs> This bitch ass nigga, Drake sent some niggas to Atlanta, not knowing. See this, this, and this is why I say Kendrick fucked him up. At Kendrick Power trickled down to me. He tried to come down here and get some niggas some money to put information on Kendrick. Now, mind you, I can't get no information on Kendrick because I'm only tied to his his friend named L. L is actually on the timeline with us. L got less followers than me. People are so dumb, they don't realize it's people with like 100 followers or like 5K followers that's it's actually like re related to this nigga. His sister is on fucking Twitter. All of us are on Twitter. They just looking at me because I got so many followers. I said, bro, y'all niggas don't really understand what's happening. So they come to me. They try to get one of my little homies um, 150k. They try to get him 100k, right? So I say, what they asking for? They say they want to know something about Kendrick. I said Kendrick ain't from Atlanta or fucking Chicago. So what? What the fuck are they asking? They said, what do you know about that? What did you know about Whitney and all that shit? And I said, Whitney, who? My girl? I said, cause my girl name Whitney. They said, no, Kendrick, Kendrick girl. I said, Whitney is up there with him. Now, mind you, that's a bombshell. They don't know that. Drake talking all that shit about why you live in why you live in New York. I said, oh, they stupid. I said, take the money. I'm going to tell them a lie. <laughs> so I took the hundred. I said, matter of fact, on top of that, I said, tell them put the 50K on it and I'll tell them where they at. I told them Kendrick was in fucking LA still. They gave me the money. And I gave 50k to my niggas. And they was like, oh, we got it. And they was like, why you in? The next song, what was that song? Um, What song? Family Ties came out. And I, we laughed. And I said, that nigga's stupid. So while Drake was talking about bait and all this shit, I said, nigga, we got your money and you ain't even getting nothing. <laughs> so you didn't get no information, you dumbass nigga. But I couldn't say it. I that reverse even... mole shit he did was so corny. That was so Dude. corny. That was so fake. Come on. He, Drake is dumb, bro. I said, this nigga is <laughs> He is so fucking stupid. They gave me the... I said, give me 50 more K and I'll tell you something. I said, okay. Um, they in LA right now. Mind you, Whitney and fucking Kendrick is in fucking New York at this time. That he's nigga was getting street. He doesn't. He doesn't. He ain't street. He doesn't know this shit. He's getting played. Exactly. He a Canadian nigga trying to get information from black Americans from the hood. Don't right? know nothing about this violence. Nah, that he nigga. Got, he got extorted. 
that nigga stupid. That's why I was talking crazy on the timeline the other day. I said, I got this nigga. I said, I got 150 bands for nothing. And that's what Kendrick said. You came back with no receipts. I said, exactly, nigga, because you, you fucking stupid. You didn't even know who you was talking to, dummy. You fucking idiot. You gave me 150 bands. I should have asked for 200. But that nigga went and put family's house out. And then, and then Kendra smoked his ass. I was like, well, that's what you get for trying to... He said, you try to put money in the streets and you came back with no receipts. I said, exactly, nigga. <laughs> I said, you stupid ass, nigga. He fucking and it's reason. not the first time he's done that because it backfired with Pusha, too. This nigga can't learn from his mistakes, clearly. He think niggas gonna tell him for money. I was like, you have to understand something about hood niggas. Certain hood niggas that are broke will give you that information. If you run into a nigga who is not, the thing about him that fucked him up, I'm popular, right? So when you run into a popular nigga, you have to understand, I already have money. So you can't really get anything out of me that I don't already have. Like, giving me 100K or 150K is like giving me some shit that I got for a feature. So I'll take that any time of the day. He didn't realize he was talking to me. <laughs> I was like, I'm not going to destroy a nigga from America for some Canadian niggas. I said, you got the game fucked up. So he lost. He lost his money. And then he had to take that air when Kenny responded back to him. And I said, oh, this nigga green. That's what, we, well, that, that's what we call it. We call it green. This nigga green. He don't know nothing. Stupid ass nigga. And he don't know shit because this ain't his shit. He didn't grow up in this shit. He don't know shit about it. And it, like, that's so, even like as a younger kid hearing Drake, I was like, that don't even sound, like, what song was it? Um, it's, This was like, like early 2010s. Um, I heard him and I asked my brother, I, I was like, is he white? And that, <laughs> and that never left me because his voice just always sounded weird to me. Like you can tell from every step, the shit he be saying sometimes is not, is it's not him. And he, Where, it, if, and if he Drake, made himself believe that was him. Drake, real voice. He, Drake is a white boy. And there ain't no wrong being a white boy. But yep. he is so square yep. person. You would never guess this is nigga saying, me, me, and the light of all of my eyes. Me, me, and the light of all of my eyes. I'd be like, when you hear him in person, he'd be like, oh, hey, Cooley, you're so nice. I'd be like, this nigga, bitch. <laughs> my brother um met him once and he was like that nigga's voice sounds like a pip squeak <laughs> and i was like what drake is a fucking nerd you can tell he never from the hood not even not even from the hood because i know every black person not from the hood but if you just talk to him you could tell he don't be he was not raised around black people that nigga is a square like a motherfucker that's how I, that's how i got them 150 bands off his ass and i said i do it again they want to talk yeah. about bait. Nigga, I baited your ass twice. I, I ran your money and I sent y'all back to Canada with nothing. And then Kendrick came on that bitch saying, you came back with no receipts. <laughs> and I said, yeah, he talking about me, nigga, because I took y'all money, nigga. <laughs> I know Drake is in like a padded room looking around like, can they hear me? I know I know he's paranoid as fuck. I know that, he's just looking around. That, he don't know how this happened. He in hell. He don't know how did none of this shit happen. I say you but, know, but also he really thinks that over. niggas he thinks niggas were never gonna come back to get him. Like he thought he could just leave this trail of bodies and nobody was gonna say, Oh wait. Well it's bodies. crazy too, because like, like people have been digging shit from the past too, because now like with all this recent Drake pedo shit, now we're talking about shit. X again, Years. you know? Like did did Drake did Drake put money on X's yes. head? Yes. Shit, we gotta yes. find out now. I sure hope we do because I've been saying that since 2019. Everybody in here following on Twitter. I yeah, got banned the morning yeah, I'm following you. dropped. I yeah, I, I, I'm following you on Twitter. Yeah, yeah, I'm following. They banned you. my shit last Friday. <laughs> yeah, I was I following you, and it, it said you you were following zero people when I followed you. Hey, uh, cool. Man, is there uh, anything just in the back of your head that you just like, you know, anything random at all that you just wanted to say, wanted to let us know, like any more bombshells or anything like that? 
Um, the TDE compilation coming soon. Dog. Alright. Yeah, I saw. Do you know anything about the Not Like Us music video? Uh, the Like That one is up to um, Punch or Top. Uh, I, they they gonna guide that. Y'all can follow them too. Though. I know y'all know Punch and CD. Punching it. Punch and Top. I yeah, it's already done. Uh, just ready to be released whenever they feel like it. But, oh, also, Dash Brothers. We the last group involved. My shit coming in like a month. So if y'all want to follow me for the day, yeah, <laughs> yeah we got you, got you. I, I, we gonna fuck with that, but um, yeah, the um, the TDE shit coming and the, um, Daylight should be doing some shit too. Daylight a troll, but um, that nigga like, he he very right about what's going on. Me and him been basically the the catalyst for some of this shit. Um, but yeah, that's all I got for real on the music shit. But yeah. if, uh, one more thing, the only thing I got left is. If 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 Drake say something, Kendra gonna smoke him, bro. It's it, it's songs left. If that's what y'all want to know, it's song- we um, know there's songs left. There, we just there, want Drake to drop, so who, so there, Kendra can drop. Is there the potential that Kendrick yeah. will bait him into dropping again, so that you can just smoke him for the you know for the greater good? I don't think it's gonna be for the greater good, but I think it takes Drake to say one like slick thing, and Kendrick gonna be like, "Man, fuck this nigga again." We know that's happening though. Drake's stupid. Yeah, he can't help himself, and now and and now that he's getting publicly humiliated, he's, oh, he's angry. He's sincere. I wouldn't be surprised if he drops tonight, my time. Like, um, yeah, because I mean, Drake he usually posts like five Instagram stories a day. This fool hasn't posted shit. Like in what three days now? He has, I mean, nothing. Radio silence, and obviously, yeah, like somebody got shot at his crib or whatever. But like, this fool's vapid enough to still be tweeting and and posting oh, yeah. IG stories and stuff during all that. But he has been silent. Nothing. I figure he posts a fucking single thing, and it's on. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what I figured. And even then, he oh, um yeah. he he had posted <laughs> caution tape. After Cash got shot or the bodyguard got shot, yeah, I'm about yeah, to say, that movie I, clip was the last thing he posted. He posted that, and then it's been silent since then. Yeah, I have a guess about, about that. Like, I think uh, for whatever reason, him staying silent is part of the deal with UMG. Um, and and oh, that's yeah. something I, I want to ask too. Like, was the hard part six? actually like a, a result of umg stepping in because that track is so calculated like there, there, there's no way i don't think the hot process wasn't it it was like you it, it was the they not like us record yeah that, like uh, that, that was that was a response to not like us but like um uh, I, I get what you're saying it's so weird because it's like he was putting water to the fire while the other tracks were just adding more fuel and he's saying he's saying he thinks that the Drake made hard part six so ass on purpose because UMG told him to. They said, "Hey, yeah, yeah, this shit's got to stop. You exactly. got to throw this fight, dog." And they, he put they, out the most ass record he could. Yeah, like because it's not that that ass. Like it's it's really it's a really bad record, and um, but it has a few lines for his fans and for casual listeners to make them think that Drake is on top, right? But it's also signaling to everyone in tune with the culture that it's not, that he's waving a white flag. And yeah, that's why it's, yeah, what's so yeah. weird about this track for me. That that's that's why it's weird. Because the last track came from Drake. People don't realize the last track did not come from Kendrick. It came from Drake. Drake last one was so bad. And Kendrick last one was actually a response. The last one was from Drake. So Drake actually was supposed to end the beat. But he lost so bad that they not like us uh, fucked up the algorithm and sent everything straight to fuck up. Kendrick, Kendrick just broke all kind of records and shit. And they, the label was like, oh shit, Drake lost even though he got to respond last. 
Usually the person that responds last wins. But in this in this instance, it didn't happen. The last response was so ass that Kendrick, that track just sounded like he kicked out everybody else and wrote it and wrote it down and and, and recorded it and, and and just fucking like just gave you know gave vocals and was done because that shit that that sounded like Drake wrote it completely it was, no, no no help yeah yep. it was trash. Yeah, because he ain't have like his, even the Ryan's schemes are still so basic. So it sounds like UMG told Drake, "All right, put out one more, end this shit, go ahead and win it, and then this is over." But then Drake put out one more, and it was ass. So Kendrick wins, and now the whole thing's fucked up. And UMG is like, "We don't know what to do because this Kenny, Kenny ain't gonna stop. His fans ain't gonna stop. Drake, you were supposed to win this shit. What the fuck?" Yep, that's what happened. The machine lost. It was supposed to be a um, counter, and it was not a good one. They he he just lost. Oh, they're out of touch with the jail. I can't wait to see Drizzy in jail. <laughs> yeah, speaking on that, is Drake on par or comparable with Diddy? And is Jake Harlow a potential victim of his? You said who? Is Drake comparable with Diddy at all? Are they very similar? I no. think he's he's like he's Diddy. If you caught him after the whole Pac and Diddy shit, you didn't give him the extra twenty five years to keep building. Who we are? I know rated. you were talking about like a new Kendrick record. Do you have like any other info on it, or do you just know that there's a new record coming? It's five new records, bro. But I don't know when they coming. That's the thing. Yeah. Oh, I, I thought you were talking about like an album, like like that he was making. He was he's recording the album. That's becoming fire, dude. Yeah, I was yeah. saying like, do, do you know anything about the album? Um, I know that they not like us gonna be on that bitch. <laughs> That's all I know for now. It is the button uh, the song that was on uh, the PG Lang account? Uh, uh, gonna be on it. The button was supposed to come over there, so the uh, the, 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 the uh, cut out again. Response button was supposed to be from Kendrick, so the response button I don't know nothing about. I oh, no, know- no no no. It's a. I meant that there's a song uh, that uh, they posted on the PG Lang account of uh, Kendrick did for some like Chanel thing in uh, January, and it's a sick song, but they haven't released it yet. Oh yeah, it was like a little short film. Yeah, it's so good. I really want that. It has nothing to do with the beef. Sorry, Cooley. I just, I really want that song. Um, I don't think so. I think that might have been a bluff, low key. But I don't, I don't think. I'm trying to think. What song would that be? It's not even really a song. It's more like a like a long commercial that Kendrick did with Chanel. It's like this little short film thing that he did, and they they posted it to PG Lang. But it's it's I'll like tag, a promo. I'll tag you in it on fire. How about I say no? No, no about that. Yeah, I'll, I'll tag you in the video on Twitter. Wait, what video? Oh, of the song, the little short film. Oh, okay. Did we already talk about that? The video of, of the Meet the Gram shit on the bridge? I don't think so. Oh, you mean the oh, shit, shit. Ebony Prince 2K? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, what's yeah. going on with that? We yeah. don't know who it is. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, I think uh, but said he doesn't I mean, know that who nigga had that shit, like, reconstruct. I mean, I mean. And it looked real. I'm gonna assume it's real until, I, you know... Cause I mean that nigga had everything in the oh, exact yeah, that, setup, that, same that's rope. It for sure. That's the stuff. Yeah, possible to take. but like with the the news 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 newspaper from Wednesday, I'm like, okay, so like I, I don't know what message are you trying to get across here. Like, oh, I forgot the shit, or I don't know. So people are saying that the laptop uh, that was in the video is possibly Drake's laptop, and that he left the luggage at the mark in New York. So uh, mm. there could be some damning evidence on that laptop, uh, just oh, by Kendrick's sure. lyrics. 
uh, what were the lyrics? Uh, sick man with sick thoughts. So, you know, they could have found some crazy <laughs> shit on What there. else did he say? He said, um, I got digital and physical on all y'all. I think he meant that literally. <laughs> Facts. Like, I definitely think this nigga been, he has a folder somewhere with just screenshots and shit that he's hey, come across I across the years. Yeah, it's all the wire and ICU lines. Yep. He's been watching. Watch. He just, I know he's been sitting there like, I'm going to get you one day. Just wait. I've got a question. Hey, two um, harsh questions, Cooley, real quick. Did Drake kill X? And I forgot the other one, but did Drake kill X? That's a big one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. Uh... I don't no, I don't think that. Mm. I don't think that at all. I think he I, Drake one of those do. Drake is a clout chaser. I've seen the video of who killed him. Now, did he send him? Maybe. But Drake Drake himself did not do shit to X. Oh yeah, we oh, know yeah. he didn't, he yeah, didn't yeah, yeah, yeah. block or like, nothing, even, but like do you think he put money on his head? Like Vlad interview, yeah. They like very heavily alluded to, to the fact that Drake told him I put money money on his head. Yeah, I believe I believe if anybody could have done that, it would have been Drake. Yeah. But it's not it's really no proof because they couldn't even tie they convicted them. They couldn't even tie him to it. They convicted one of the dudes, but they couldn't tie him to Drake. And I was yeah. like, I thought it was just some Ovia one. They had tried to call him into court and he wouldn't go. He like fought like fought that shit till the end. He would not go to court. Yeah, so that, that case is suspicious, but X did say if I died, Drake did it. So I'm like, I don't know. I, don't, I really can't call that one. And and, he, and you know what? See, even that just like plays into the whole culture vulture shit because he stole X's flow. And, and when, whenever X didn't take it and shut up about it, that he dies all the fucking sudden, really? Like, his idea you for steal plan. nigga shit for, like, a, like it's your job to steal personalities. Like, that's a problem. You Poor know, Smino. I still want for fucking Smino to come back and, and, and get his licks in. But anyway, what I was saying about that, I'm, this is why I'm not trying to promote like gangs and shit. This is why it's good to be a gang member. Take that away. <laughs> Take that with a grain of salt. Now, if somebody tried to kill me, there's gonna be like 50 niggas outside. Like, no, you're not gonna kill Cooley. You might probably shoot him or something. You might even try to get to him, but I'm not gonna die like that. That's why I be telling people, I'll be like, don't, don't take being from the hood as a bad thing because they try to make us feel bad from being from the hood i'm not ashamed to be from the hood i'm in the suburbs now but i'm not ashamed to have 30 20 niggas around me i'm not even ashamed to have bodyguards i'm not ashamed of that at all if you have the money to have bodyguards get them yeah that shit will save your life that shit will save you, man. Okay, I got it now. Yeah. But I wonder how Chubb feel, feels about the, the call outs. I do, <laughs> each time I hear Kendrick I bring up Chubbs, it's always so funny to me. The Chubbs in a dark alley. <laughs> what is his deal? I mean, you know, I know he's like his bodyguard, but like, how did, like, I don't know, just one day he popped up next to Drake and was in a song and he just never left. And I was like, who is this? I Hey, I'm gonna tell you what that is. That is paid friendship. Mm -hmm. That is the difference between people from the hood and people that's just like regular niggas. I say I'm popular and I'm from the hood, so I have the benefit of both like situations. I'm not a nigga from the suburbs to just pay some niggas to be around me. The people around me are my friends. They adopt me. They might shoot you for me. They might kill you. They go to jail for me. That's what is that's what Kendrick is talking about. Kendrick is not saying I'm the toughest nigga in the world. He's saying the niggas around you are not like the niggas around me. That's all he's saying. And he's right. 
Kendrick don't have to even come out his fucking mansion or his fucking penthouse for something to happen to you. These niggas will have to go outside and pay somebody like me or something to like hold them down. You can't get people to hold them down because y'all don't even come from that type of shit. You are yeah. an actor. you are a suburban actor from Can you are a Canadian suburban Jewish biracial mixed nigga from fucking Canada. That's a child actor. You do not have nothing on this little short nigga from Compton. Which side note, the way he kept saying that Whitney was mixed and 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 just like trying to like like be be, 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 be like no uh you two and the, and saying that oh yeah um um our kids should go play two light skin kids. What? He tried, that's that's the irony in Drake. He tried to diminish somebody's blackness, even though yeah. he are you retarded? You. That's and then mean. he said, two little light skin kids. Kids, kids are not light skin. I don't I know said, what she considered light skin. I was like, about you. I was like, if like, she, I was like, if you try to diminish his wife's blackness, then what are you? You, yeah, exactly. You, you don't even, when he grew white, up in Compton. Like, Adonis is white, white. Like, he, she's not even like, like, about, about, we, we talking Sorry. like one age. Like, and, and, and Kendrick's kids, that they, they like, like you know, you they they niggas, man. Like, come on, like it's not even close. It's just to compare them is wild because, and also Kendrick claimed his kids. Let's talk about it. Come on now, all his kids. Come on, like, like what? <laughs> Whether they black or, or, or white, you don't claim your kids. So, can you really talk about children? No. Does Drake traffic women? <laughs> oh my god! I believe so. Good question. Oh, well, hey, that's what we're all here for, man. That's I'm like I'm telling you, bro. This dude is that like, was real, but Jesus Christ, they just caught me off guard. He's trafficking hundreds. I, I mean, it's not just him. He's got clientele. I, he's got weird. it's a network. Damn. Yep. Get Baka the fuck up out of there. <laughs> Get, the, get him the fuck out of here. We're going to get rid of all this. Yeah. Hey, birds of a vet. Like, and that's the thing. There's so, like, it really does. I'm sorry. I, I don't care what nobody says. The people you keep around you say a lot about you. And if you yeah. really saw that nigga catch these charges and you were waiting for him to come home and you excited and, and you signed, nigga, uh, well. He said he'll declare it a holiday when he comes home. What? Right? Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, yay! It's been nine years since he said that shit, and he's still with Baca. Yeah. Baca because and... Yeah, Cooley, do you know anything about Drake trafficking women? Baca, are the, Baca and Beam are the first niggas I'm gonna, I'm gonna take an owl chain from. <laughs> I'm going to... The other vaginal option? Like, I will say this on Discord. I do not mind saying that because I, I will fuck them up. I don't, I don't know what the fuck is Beams. Like, I, 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 I've i never even seen a picture of the nigga. I just know that he exists and that, and that he no. <laughs> ghost writes for Drake. Beam, one of those niggas who think he's him and he's not. That's why yeah. I'm asking for him the whole time. That's why Kendrick called him out. Because Beam is basically trying to pick me and I asked Kendrick to do that for me. Because Kendrick is not going to outright shout me out. But he's asking Beam, Cooley wants to see you. So can you, do you want to do something with him? Because if not, then shut the fuck up talking to me. That's basically what he's saying. Because if him and Baka don't want to do nothing, then what do you think this war is about? Mm. Y'all are freaky ass niggas with bad charges on y'all, and this is some rap shit. And did you see that video? It was of a dude who, I mean, had OVO in his name. Like he had, like you know, followed by Drake. I, I can try and find it in a second. But um, he was on live or yeah. something, and he was like, you know, Cali niggas stay inside all summer. I was like, with, with like the heaviest Toronto accent. No one believes you. Nobody. No one. That's their problem. Nobody believes that shit. 
Y'all are lying. It's, it's just like Kendrick said. It's massive manipulation. Nobody believes y'all. Nobody believes that shit. I said we are out. Everybody has been outside this whole time. Why? Nobody is scared of y'all. Like, who do y'all think y'all are? Like, that that's really my actual, like, problem with this. They keep acting like they tough. Nobody has did nothing to us. I said, what? what can, ain't nobody. People always act like Kendrick is, uh, like, like, like this, like, soft nigga, which is crazy to me because Kendrick is actually from the hood. Kendrick is just a nice dude. Yeah. Kendrick is a but blood. I I said so this so this a few a few a, 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 a few days ago. Drake's biggest issue is that he thinks every nigga's like him. That every nigga rolls like him is on the shit he owns. So whenever he's being weird and doing shit like that, he's like yelling with me. No, nigga, no. We even when um um Kendrick said, "I'm sorry, I live." I live a boring life. I love peace. Niggas ain't on the shit you want all the time. Everybody don't want to be famous. Don't want to be up in everybody's spot. And that's how you get yourself a shit like this because you wanted to be hot. You wanted to be the big guy. And now look at you. He, he He's getting fucked up because not only is he going up against a nigga just, just as big as him or bigger, you're going against up a nigga that is actually from the streets. Drake is not from the streets. Kendrick is, Kendrick is a nice dude, but he's from the streets. Kendrick is like yeah. little brother that's from the hood. Kendrick is blood. That's why when he was talking about that shit on Family Ties, talking about you not from a real set. Yes, he is. Kendrick is just Kendrick does just Kendrick fools people with that black power shit. Kendrick is actually a street nigga. He's just like like I give you an example of who Kendrick is. If Kendrick was from Chicago, he would be Lupe. People think Lupe is a nerd. Lupe is a fucking street nigga that rides skateboards. That is a street nigga from the hood. That is not a square nigga. Drake yeah. is who he's talking to. But I think Drake's only metric of blackness is shit that he's seen from somebody else or on TV. Exactly. So, so he only, thinks that you have to be. Drake only think Drake whole shit about black people is from the movies. He does not know who he's talking to. That's when yeah. one top and punch and daylight Start talking to him, he backed out. He was like, Oh shit. Yes, nigga, you do not know who you talking to. Kendrick I mean, is not a fucking Kendrick is not a fucking lame little short nigga from the hood. He is a little short nigga, but that is a West Side blood from LA. Just like Drake Luke. Has just been pretending like, to be the black dude in the room since they paid him to do it on Degrassi. Well, they, the thing is, he's a, he's a, he's an actor. He's a, I mean, that's that's his that's always been his vibe, you know. And Drake is the best acting role of Aubrey Graham's life. Drake is his biggest yeah, actor. Like, it's, Degrassi. Yeah, it's fine. I it's, watched it's, Degrassi as a kid because like all my siblings were older, you know. So I watched him on that show before I knew him as Drake. And I was like, like, first time I heard him on um um started from the bottom, I was like, is that the same nigga? Yeah, like, like it's it's crazy. Listen to the, to the see the, the transformation from of Drake. Like, I like it is because there, there's so many young people on the internet. So it, it's like it always it gets you know new information and, and new minds. But it's like I remember yeah. when we were clowning on Drake for being a bitch. Like we was Man, we clowning on Drake his don't entire watch career. No, I'm like, watch I'm right now. years old. Like, I can remember best I ever had and thinking that shit was corny when it came out on my fucking yeah. iPod Nano. Bro, I, was, I was in fucking downtown Atlanta by Lennox Mall. First time I heard fucking um started started from the bottom. My brother, who's like ten years older than me, was like, "That nigga did not start from nobody's bottom. What is he talking yeah, about?" Yeah, I was like, "What is he talking about?" Like, my nigga, you was on TV, like, like, like the fuck for multiple seasons. How you going to be talking about you in an entirely white Jewish family? You were not hurt in this shit. Yeah. Like your first meeting of blackness was talking to your pappy on the phone, but he wouldn't come see you. So well, you know. <laughs> I'm just saying. And then he tried to like that. claim the fucking Memphis a little bit because of his daddy. No, no, no. No, no, nah, nah. <laughs> to me the funniest shit was when he went to the UK and came back and came up with a with a British accent. 
that shit was stupid. That shit had me dying. I was like, who the fuck is this nigga? Like, that's what I'm saying. like he, he, he acts all like he's from London and shit, and he's rolling with Skepta and all that, and then that Dutch Avelli shit yeah, happens. And now, now yeah. it's like him and Skepta don't know each other. Oh, fuck Dutch Avelli, bro. Yeah, get- okay. Wait, all right. I'm on Come, all these- look, bro, you're finna enter on our, like, tinfoil hat shit. <laughs> our conspiracy reader blind shit. Yeah, yeah I've been feeding <laughs> info to someone who says that he's got. I've been reading the Kendrick's man. Camp, I saw so. the Dutch Avelli shit a year and a half. I know they've been saying I've, what we're doing. Yeah, oh yeah, dude. I've been reading um um the website C Band. I've been on that shit since 2019, just from like other celebrity shit. So I've mm-hmm. been seeing the shit about Dutch Avelli and even fucking Stefan Don, which niggas forget that's literally his sister. Yeah, niggas forget, and, niggas forget. And fucking uh, solo forty five and yep. all them. Yeah, well, no, even the shit about Stefan Don, Dutch Ability, Dutch Dutch Ability, Dutch Ability, and Drake. That should have been on C Dan since twenty twenty. Like that's not even new to the blind, at least. I got I got one more question left for me. Not gonna get off. What y'all got? <laughs> Do you know anything about that Dutch Valley shit? You, you you got anything on that? No, nope, I just know he a bitch. But yeah, I'm gonna, I I want to see Bean. If any of y'all get any, if y'all catch Bean tweeting anywhere, <laughs> please tell me. Please for yeah, love. Yeah, you in here. We see anything Bean related. We got you. Yes, yeah. I we've been here all day. <laughs> we'll start Yo. reading. Beam sight set. I got a beam on beam right now. <laughs> hey, <laughs> and, and you can like you can like stay in the server and just like anytime you want, just I'll like talk, talk about how you want to get on voice call. We we down absolutely. Okay, bet. 